Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. So there are multiple reports that Australia is heading towards a completely cashless society. While this seemed to be something of a distant future just several months ago, or maybe even a conspiracy theory, it is becoming more and more real. Australian government is telling us that it is the reality that all of us should start preparing for now. Before we continue, I want to remind you to join me on YouTube and Rumble and remember to enable notifications by ringing that little bell button on the right hand side. So Australia is going cashless without any proper warning or official announcements. Four major Australian banks started to limit cash withdrawals across the country. What's even more shocking is that some bank branches even went completely cash free. Bank customers are having a difficult time withdrawing more than $500. It is happening. It is the reality. What would you do if you found yourself in this kind of a situation? Leave me a comment below. I would love to hear from you. According to the data from the Reserve Bank of Australia, the Australian government took one billion worth of banknotes out of circulation. Cash may soon be difficult to get. The number of notes in circulation officially is declining for the first time since dollars and cents were introduced back in 1966. All of this points to an obvious fact, in my opinion. It might be safe to assume that Australian digital dollar may be ready to be launched soon. We will see. But according to the article that was published by BBC recently, the plan to phase out cash within three years begins with eliminating $100 notes in the first year and $50 bills in year two. Then it is about using education and incentives, especially convincing traditional cash users of better options. But here's what's really entertaining. And I think that entertaining is probably the right word to describe this. One of the selling points made by the authorities is that now that there is less cash, criminals will find it harder to go undetected. So therefore, less cash is for your own benefit. You're now better protected, they tell you. A cashless society will only lead to a more honest tax environment, and the biggest losers will be those who rely on cash deals, especially criminals. The Reserve Bank of Australia is now reporting that approximately one third of the population uses cash for less than 20% of their transactions. But not even four years ago, back in 2019, almost half of the population considered themselves to be low cash users. Australia Central Bank says that it does expect cash transactions to continue their decline in the coming years. And of course, they are doing everything possible to make that happen. Reuters recently published an article related to many other countries around the world considering going cashless. For example, Austria is one of them. Reuters called the idea of enshrining cash in the country's constitution, and this is a direct quote, a far right idea. Word for word, a far right idea. Did you know that if you prefer to have cash in your wallet, that type of behavior is actually far right? But according to Reuters, a conservative leader in Austria is calling for the country's constitution to spell out that every citizen, every single citizen in the country does have the right to use cash. Reuters then says it's, quote, an idea the far-right Freedom Party of Austria had been pushing for years. So in this specific case, which is not uncommon, as all of you know, the media is one of the two parties that oppose such initiative. They don't want that to be enshrined in constitution. Austria's Freedom Party, um, that is advocating for anti-immigration policies, it has a clear lead over its opposition. Of course, we will not be going into the anti-immigration policies and what's going on in Europe related to that, but having the right to transact in cash as opposed to cards or even digital currencies is one of the top issues that consumers should be aware of. 
Austrians use cash more than any other nation in the EU. And when the pandemic began, for example, they withdrew a significant amount of cash and just stored it at home. They are conservative when it comes to uh, payment systems. So going cashless may not be welcomed in this country. But of course, Australia is a completely different story. Australia is very different from Austria and the transition to a cashless society doesn't seem to be met with major opposition here. BBC reported that cash is no longer king. You better get ready for future financial transactions to feature facial recognition technology and possibly wearables, hearables, and implantables. Can't make that up. Let me know if that is something you're, uh, you're on board with. Australia's transition to a fully cashless society is expected to happen within the next five to eight years. But there are other experts who believe that it may be just a couple of years away, maybe just three years away. If you've been a subscriber of mine for a while, you might remember that in a previous video on CBDCs, I mentioned that the Atlantic Council predicted full transition to a digital currency within five to seven years, which of course does appear to be in line with Australia's timeline of going completely cashless. But here's the catch. There was a major event that enabled Australia's transition to a cashless society. And that major event was the introduction of a brand new instant financial settlement system called the New Payments Platform. It was introduced in February of 2023. Now tell me if that rings a bell. Does that ring a bell? Comment below if you think that it might be similar to the instant system Fed now that was introduced by the Federal Reserve here in the United States in mid-July. So Australia's new payment platform allows businesses, government agencies, and consumers to make instant payments 24-7, seven days a week, exactly the same way that Fed now functions. I will end this video with a quote by one of the biggest proponents of a cashless society. Swedish Australian author and managing director of Think, Anders Sormen Nilsson. Here's what he says Seamless biometric payments are the key drivers to moving beyond the idea, the old idea of credit cards or cash as a physical product, to a digital service that lives in your mobile wallet or smartphone. Your intimate payment relationship will be with your wearable, hearable, or implantable digital device, which you and the artificial intelligence will train to select the right card for the right purchase. This could be for, say, frequent flyer, foreign exchange, or payment term optimization. He even said that advances in facial recognition technology will help us consumers become increasingly comfortable scanning our bodies as an identification method. Is that the reality that you want? Comment below. Let me know what you make of all of this. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to show your support. I want to let you know that it does go a long way on YouTube and Rumble. Give the video a like and consider sharing it with your network. Subscribe to my channels. I would love to have you back for my next one. And remember to find me on Substack for more content. And I will see you in my new one soon. Take care.